Good morning, gents. Today we have a Follett uh, model 50 CI. Um, <clears throat> so they called this because the ice machine was not making any ice, of course. It's empty. So I jumped the gun here a little bit. I didn't think I was going to make a video, but maybe we'll try it. So when I first got here, ice machine was completely off. Um, I had that one, 20M, 60M, and second. All three of these were lit up, and the machine was off. So, I already know from working on one of these before that... Hello. 20M equals an overamp in the auger motor. <clears throat> so right now we're running 1.78 amps, 1.8 amps. And let me see if I can get this in here. So right there, you guys can read that on your own. Pretty much says that uh, the 20M light will uh, will come on, indicating that the control board has sent an over torque in the gear motor. So, <clears throat> so my 20M was on, which means that the motor inside here, the evaporator, was over torquing. And you can see how filthy this thing is. It hasn't been cleaned in I don't know how long. Um, so anyways, that's your evaporator right there, and you have an auger that moves the ice up. It's got bearings on the top and the bottom, and when the bearings are going bad, you get that 20M light. Now my 60M light was almost uh, was also on. So hold on right here the 60 M light uh, pretty much it's a 60 minute timer after a 20 M light has come on so it says if a restart after the 20 M light goes off is successful the 60 minute timer LED comes on the 60 M LED remains on for 60 minutes from restart a lighted 60M LED indicates that the ice maker has experienced an over torque condition. If the ice maker runs without problems for 60 minutes and no additional torque error occurs, the 60M LED goes off and the ice maker continues normal operation. But it didn't because we also had our second. So that's the 20, the 60, and the second. So the second reads. The second LED comes on if an overtorque condition occurs while the 60M LED is still lighted. And that is not proper English. I'd say that's supposed to be lit. <laughs> the second LED indicates that two consecutive overtorque situations have occurred. The ice maker will be shut down at this time and will not restart unless the manual reset button is depressed. So. Like I said, when I showed up, we had the 20, the 60, and the second LED. So, all you got to do on these fallets is hit that reset right there. Just a nice little reset button. And you begin normal operation. And as you can see, we're running about 1.7 amps. That is actually slightly high. I I don't remember exactly what the torque rating is supposed to be. I did the bearings on a, on a different machine at this same building. But if you see here, uh, right here, it says over torque condition above 3 amps on a gear motor. So anything over, where are you at, where are you, right there, 3 amps, right there, on the gear motor. Now, I'd have to look up some old video, but I'll see if I have it. I'll insert it. Um, 
But anyways, once I remember once it hit like 2.8, it would start tripping out on the high, uh, over torquing on the gear motor. So we'll let it run and we'll see uh, see what happens. All right, Jen, so this machine's been running for about 10 minutes. It just started making some ice. Um, there you can see some ice right there. Just started making ice. And it went off on our 20M light, which is an over torque. So let's see if we can't see how high it's going. I just hit the reset button. I'm not gonna do it while on camera. <laughs> that is funny. So, so pretty much I already know where this is going. We're gonna have to do an evaporator clean. Uh, make sure it's not a bunch of scale in there uh, holding up the motor. And once we do that, then the only other thing left is the bearings. And those bearings aren't cheap. So, so we'll see. We reset it. Let's see how long it runs this time. All right, Jen. So I haven't been able to catch it uh, trip out, but it is making ice pretty slow. So um, the next step uh, to fix the overamping issue is to number one. Uh, you gotta clean that evaporator, which is that guy right here. Pretty much I'm gonna recommend that we clean the ice machine, and if that doesn't fix the issue, then we gotta go do the bearings. And uh, I'm about to go talk to the uh, building engineer, see what he wants to do, but um, we'll bring it up to him. Let me button this thing back up and we'll see what he says.